somebody has created a clone account using your personal information. Yes, sir, I asked that means you what duplicate. kind of horrible person would do something like that? Who I would don't try know. to I steal money from an 82-year-old woman? I don't know, miss, but I'm here to help you. The problem that you are facing, I am here to help you. I will not let anybody take your money from you, okay? Oh, thank goodness. Welcome to Scammer Jammer, Iron here, and we got a pretty crazy fun call for you today when we called up an Amazon scammer, wasted their time a little bit, had a little bit of fun, and then you see a crazy part with another competing scammer at the same call center. But I'm going to let you watch, so here you go and enjoy. Hello, this is an automated call from Amazon. We have identified some suspicious activity on your Amazon account, so we have strongly restricted doing any financial activity on your Amazon account until and unless this concern will fixed. Please press 1 to talk to Amazon customer support. Thank you. I didn't order nothing. Cancel it. I don't want it. Okay, miss. I'm going to help you with the issue that you are facing right now. Can you please tell me what the exact issue is going on? What's your name? My name is Alina. All right. If you consider doing something else in your life, you're not good at this at all. Weren't you listening? I said I don't want it. I didn't order anything. Cancel it. You received a notification of a thing that you didn't order? Is that what the issue is? Yes. Okay, so you received a notification through a text or an email? An email. Okay. What were the charges mentioned there in that email? Well, I turned my computer off because my cookies were done. You want me to go back and, and turn everything on? I thought I'd just call and cancel it. Miss, we need some information to cancel that order. There's a proper procedure for everything. We cannot just go there and cancel every order. We no need to know what transaction ID mentioned in that email or... All right, my email there. address is Dorothy39 at yahoo.com. That's what I use for the Amazon. Dorothy39 at yahoo.com. And I haven't ordered anything in a that? while, so just cancel it. Can you please spell that for me? Are you there? Can you please spell yes. your email what address you for me? Are you there, miss? What? What, what are you saying? Can you spell your email address for me? Yes, Dorothy39 at yahoo.com. Spell that, spell that. What's the spelling for that? D is in Delta. Okay. Okay, please go ahead. O is in Oscar. Okay. R is in Romeo. Okay. O is in Oscar. Okay. P is in Tango. Okay. H is in Hotel. Okay. Y is in Yankee. Okay. Dorothy39 at the rate yahoo.com. Yes. Is that your email address? Okay, miss. Just give me a moment. I will pull out the records and check what the exact issue is happening here. Thank you for staying online. I appreciate your patience and time, Miss. Are you there? Yes. Okay, so Miss Dorothy, as I can check here, the email that you have received is a system-generated email directly from the secured server of Amazon to let you know that somebody has created a clone account using your personal information and they've been ordering things in your name. 
And I must also tell you that there's not only one order, but a couple of more orders are being placed using these details. So are you aware about that? What was your name? My name is Alina. A is an alpha, oh, L is Alina. Oh no, my daughter-in-law's name was Alina and she was no good. Uh, she was no good at all. I'm gonna call you Fod Hat from now on. Now Fod Hat, what kind of horrible person would order themselves things from my Amazon? These are fraudulent people who create clone accounts and order things in other people's name. You're not the first what person who's come up with this complaint. What kind of horrible person would do something like that? Do you want us to help you in this case? You need to listen to me first. Somebody has created a clone account using your personal information. Yes, I asked that means you what duplicate. kind of horrible person would do something like that. Who I would try know. to I steal know. money from an 82-year-old woman? I don't know, miss, but I'm here to help you. The problem that you are facing, I am here to help you. I will not let anybody take your money from you, okay? Oh, thank goodness. Do you want us to help you? Uh, that, uh, let's start over again. But remember at the beginning when I said you should think about doing something else with your life? You might want to reconsider that again. Why do you think I'm calling you? I told you I didn't order anything. Cancel it. Of course I want your help. So you need to listen to me first for that. We are going to cancel your orders, which we are seeing here, but you need to be just calm and listen to me. You're just shouting Don't at me. Don't tell me to calm you. down. You calm down. This is a very serious issue. I'm 82 years old, and not one person has ever tried to steal anything from me, ever. And now you're telling me that someone has done something with my Amazon? I don't understand what kind of horrible person would do that, but you just stop them. At least you called back. That's a good Thank thing. Thank you for staying online, sir. I appreciate your patience and time. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, sir. So as I can check here, the email that your grandma has received is a system-generated email directly from the secured server of Amazon to inform her that somebody has created a clone account using her personal information, which is her name, email address, and password. And they've been ordering things on her name. There's not only one order, but a couple of more orders are being placed using oh, the no. same details. Oh my God. It, no, Grams, they said that there was a, a, a problem with your account. Somebody cloned your account, Grams. Um, what, now, what's going on there? You said they cloned the account. There was the, the, some order that was on there that wasn't supposed to be? Yes. There are some orders which I can see here. One is which she received an email for, for around $1,389. Okay. And the other two orders is for a Sony television for $1,289. And the other one is for a Dell laptop, which is for $876. Oh, my God. So what what is this like three thousand dollars or something right there? Uh, yes, the total comes to like three thousand dollars approximately. Oh my God, that's t that's insane! Can you please ask Grams? Her Grams, they, they, is she aware of? Do you do you want me to put Grams on the phone orders? too? I can put I can put her on. We got another line. We got another phone in the house that she can get on. Hold on. Okay, Grams, sure. Grams, pick up the phone, hun. Pick up the phone. Hello. Yes. Okay, this Are you is my aware grams. Of any of these orders? Okay, okay. Are you aware of any of these orders, which is for a Sony television, twelve hundred and eighty-nine dollars, and the Dell laptop, which is for eight hundred and seventy-six dollars? I didn't order nothing. Okay, and there's an iPhone for thirteen hundred and eighty-nine dollars, which you have received an email for. George, did you order our phone? No, Grams, I didn't order any of this stuff. She said it came to like something like three thousand dollars. Okay, you need I not to worry about you, anything, okay? Since, uh, First, you need to tell me. 
I got plenty of money, but you just have to ask me before you order things. Rams, I didn't order this. This is somebody that did something else. They got on your account somehow. I told you you can't have you can't have the same password for everything, Grams. So you got to change them up a little bit. Cancel it. Yeah, can we cancel that? Yes, sure we can, but there's a proper procedure for everything we need to follow. Okay. Yeah, just cancel just it. Give me a moment. Okay, can you please ask her? Is she online right yeah, now? Yeah, she, she's on the phone too. Okay, so does she... Uh, Miss Dorothy, do you remember sharing any of your email address, password, or any of your banking credentials with anybody, like a friend, family member, or a colleague? No. Are you positive about that? Yes. Okay, so you need not to worry. First of all, as you are denying that you didn't order any of these things and also you did not share any of your personal information with anybody. So I am uh, considering this case as a case of identity theft because somebody has stolen your personal information and they've been created a clone account and they've been ordering things in your name. Okay, so this is a case of identity theft. First of all, what I'm going to do is I am going to raise a cancellation for the order that you have received an email for. I have raised a cancellation and you'll receive you'll just receive a cancellation email within 24 hours, okay? The second thing here I'm going to do is I will register a case against this order since it is a case of identity theft and need to register a case and raise a complaint ID. So, can you please grab a pen and paper so that I can provide you a complaint ID? Uh, Grams, I'll get that George, for you. Will you go grab a pen and paper out of the dresser drawer? Yeah, I got, I got it for you, Grams. Hold on a second. Who would do such a horrible thing or try to rob and steal money and items from me? Who would do that? Okay, Miss Dorothy, I need to tell you that you're not the first person this thing is happening with. We've had millions of cases like this, okay? And we have helped 80% no, of those no, people. No, 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 that doesn't sound right. There can't be millions of people who are stealing from hard work and people like me. Millions of people have been fraud. I'm saying that. No, millions of people no, are not no, doing no. this. I don't know anyone who would steal anything from anybody. Yes, I get that. Most people are honest, good, hard-working people. What happens when you catch this criminal? How much behind the bars do they go? How, when you catch them, how, how long behind the bars do they go? We are not able to catch these people because they're not having personal information of one person. They're having personal information of almost, I don't know, thousands, thousand people, and they mix and match information and use in these accounts. But what we can help you with, we can secure these things for you, okay? If you have received these uh, orders, if someone stole something them. from you or your grandma, how long behind the bars should they go? I don't know that, and I'm no one to decide that either. Well, you're a human being, I... right? Yes, miss. Well, if someone stole something from you, or robbed you, or stole money from you, or, or even worse, stole money from your grandma, like you're telling me that someone stole by mm -hmm. their buy items on my Amazon for themselves, if someone did that to your grandma, how long do you think you should put them behind the bars? I would put them behind the bars for their lifetime. But here oh. we are not... Okay, well what if they said, I'm sorry and I won't do it again? I don't know, miss. I I'm think once you someone with starts you are stealing facing. from someone, okay, they're always going to be a criminal give you who my steals personal from opinions people. On this. I'm sorry? You think once someone starts to be a thief and a criminal who steals from innocent people, they're always going to be a thief and a criminal? Do you think that they change? No, they won't be able to change. They'll remain the same, okay? And, and now, I'm not going to answer any of your personal questions. I'm here to help but you. I hope that you catch that you them are and facing. put them behind the and bars. We have got to get every person 
who is stealing yes, sure. and robbing from other this. people okay, you need to out to of me our first. society. We cannot have Please. a society with someone who takes food from people, who steals from people. Okay, miss, I understand. I understand you need to just calm down, okay? First of all, I'm telling you that I understand Don't that you you're tell me to calm things. down. You calm down. You're the one who told me someone is stealing from me. How would you feel if someone was stealing from you? Yes, I totally get that. It's... You it's think you would be you calm if someone was stealing from you? Miss, I am here to help you, and I am assuring you that oh, I will not you, let George. anybody take George a penny gave from me a you. Pen and paper. Yeah, Graham, what do you, you want go. me to write down? So I couldn't find it. It was it was um, under the you had it under your your nightstand right there. I couldn't find it. So, but here you go, hon. Well, I keep it there so that I can write my favorite passages out of the good book. Uh, that would explain why it was under the, the under the that good book there. If you heard the word okay, of the so Lord, you can write down the Can I just dictate the complaint ID now? Oh, is there what you wanted me to write down? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Just um, yeah, you know, Graham, uh, the uh, there's, oh, there's really only three, uh, you know, three important rules to learn in the good book. Don't lie, don't cheat, and don't steal. That's really the most important thing. But w I'm done writing them down. What do you want me to write down, honey? The complaint ID, which is P as in Peter, A as in Alpha, P as in Peter again, number 261214, A as in Alpha, and J as in Jane. Well, you were talking you really fast. That was very very fast and i can't write that fast you go slower so i can write it down like you told me <laughs> she just hung up <laughs> don't worry we're getting her back what was her name again elena anal thank you for yes. calling please continue to hold for the next available agent thanks for calling support this is david i'm assist you yeah, hey, how you doing? I was just talking to a girl. I think her name was uh, Elena In. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was, um, but I, I just dropped my phone and it got disconnected. Uh, she was helping me out. She was talking to me something about uh, my Amazon account was compromised and, and there were some charges on it. May I know the name again, please? Yeah, I think it was uh, Elaine or Alien. alien? I, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what she said. She was speaking a little fast. Maybe it was Alina. Just a moment. Do you have her extension number or employee uh, no. ID number, sir? Yeah, she just gave me the the complaint ID number. Uh, do you need that? Would that help? It was, I think it, it was Anil or Ellen or Aline. I, I'm not quite sure. Okay. May I know your name, please? Yeah, well, I'm I'm calling for my Gwams because something happened with her account and she's a little bit slower, so I was trying to help her out. Uh, so Gwams was on the phone too, and uh, I accidentally hit the phone and hung it up. So um, it's it's under her account, but we're trying we were trying to get get back in touch with her. Okay, I will pass on the message. May I know your name, please? Uh, yeah, my name is George. And then, but the account's under my Graham's name, and that's uh, Dorothy. And may I have your number? You, uh, the, you want the ID number? Yeah, it's PAP261214 no, no. AJ. Sure. No, so your phone number. So I can uh, pass on the message to Elena so she can call you immediately. Your phone number. Yeah, yeah, it's the one I'm calling you on. Is it the same number? Four two yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, sir. I'm sending the message to Alina. You will receive a call shortly from Miss Alina. Okay. I... Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hello? Hello? Hey, this side, Alina Iceberg. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, I'm sorry. We were just actually on the phone trying to trying to oh, get in touch with you. I'm okay. I'm glad you called back. You, your name is Alina. Now, I didn't catch your last name, Assbug. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. What happened to you? I thought you were never gonna give me up. No, 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 no. I'm already with you. Do not worry. Okay. So, um, yes, please. How can I help you now? All right. Well, Alina, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? And I just want you to talk to me and George, all right? Maybe we can help you, okay? Yes, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. If someone told me... Mm hmm you're going to steal money from me. I would say, no way. Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. uh, who told you that? Uh, who is going to steal the money? Now, me and George are here for you. I'm here with my grandson, too. And don't worry. You're never going to come to the United States. Uh, and we're never going to meet you. So tell me, when you went to that mm -hmm. place... And they said, oh, no, um, they, you're not going to be, like, making electronics or serving food or, or even, like, cleaning counters or anything. You're going to be robbing and stealing from people like a criminal. Why didn't you say, no way, I'm not stealing anything from anyone and get out of there. Why, why are you doing this? What I'm doing, Mesh? You have received an email. You must not have been listening to me. Let me start over again, okay? I want you to take a deep breath and calm down. Calm down, okay? What I'm asking you is when someone told you you're going to be a criminal who steals money from people and you could possibly get caught and go behind the bars... Why didn't you say, no way, I'm not stealing anything from anyone, and why didn't you get out of there? Who is making a fool out of you? Why are you doing this? You are saying me that I am doing this? Y yes, you are a thief in India who it pretends to work from Amazon. You know you don't work for Amazon and that you steal money from people. But my question is, when someone told you, hey, you steal money from people and give me the money. Why didn't you say, no way, I'm not stealing money from anyone and get out of there. Why are you doing this? I'm not stealing any money even. What? I said, I'm not stealing any money. Why are you lying to yourself? You know who you are deep down inside. If we're going to have a conversation, you can oh. lie to me. You've been lying to me the whole time. Hung up. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> Keep asking for Elena. <laughs> Thank you for calling Amazon. This is James. How may I help you? Oh, James, this is Dorothy. I'm supposed to get, call back and, and get Elena on the phone. She said only talk to her. Elena is her name. Elena Asberg, I think. Could, do you get Elena Asberg on the phone? Uh huh. She said, "Don't so, talk to anyone else. Only talk to me." Okay. All right. So, what did she tell you? What happened? You can tell me. I will connect. Let me What's go ahead. What's the secret and... password that she told me? I'm sorry. She said, "Only talk to who knows Hello? the password." Okay. She give you a password. Yeah. Could you just get her? Her yeah. name is yeah. Elena. I think Asberg, she said her name was. Okay, Alina, right? And how yeah. much did you did did she did you pay anything to her? Well, I'm supposed. I don't know if I should talk to you because she said it's a secret. Tell her her secret. Okay. No. Uh, that uh, 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 you tell her. Oh, I'm a manager. I'm following what she yeah, said, I'm and I'm only talking to her. Okay, I'm I'm a manager here. Okay. Manager here. That right. is why I'm asking you, right? So I can, I can connect you to, with her, all right? You can tell me what all is right, the issue, right. what was the thing that told. Yes. Yes, I'm re I'm waiting. Thank you. No, I'm asking you. I'm a manager here on the floor, all right? Elena, she is busy on the other line. You can let me know what is the thing, all right? What did she yes, tell she you? Yes, she said only what talk to her. 
and and then she'll tell me a secret password when she gets on the phone. Okay, what is the secret pa password that she told you? Well, go ahead and ask her. Okay, all right. Give me a moment, okay? All right. Okay, all right. I check here. All right. Can you hear me? You're not Elena. Hello? Yeah, I'm not Elena. Uh, what happened? I'm a manager, all right? So what happened, Elena? He he left for the day, ma'am. No, not not uh, not Alan. Elena, Elena Asberg. I just talked to her. Just tell her, tell her yeah. Granny's back, and and I miss her, and I want to talk to her. She left for the day, ma'am. No, no, not not Alan. Elena, she's right there. Yeah, uh, Elena. That is what I'm saying. She left for the day. No, she did, and I was just right there. She told me her shift doesn't end for a little while. Y'all get some kind of, like, bonus or commission. Are you trying to steal her bonus commission? No, ma'am. No, no. I, why, why would I steal her bonus commi commission, ma'am? Well, She's I can tell in your me, voice right. you would probably steal the dentures out of a dead person's mouth who was laying on the ground. You sound like a thief. No, ma'am. See, I'm not. I don't have anything to do with that, ma'am. Right? You know how I know you're lying, you Oswepe. Ma'am, that is okay. Your she mouth is moving. That's how I know you're lying. Is your mouth is moving? No, you. Can, how long have you been a lying you criminal? Ma'am, you can call her tomorrow. No problem. You know, I always wonder, people, how do you live with yourself? When you get up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you walk around in public going, I steal money from people. I steal money from people. I don't make anything. I don't grow food. I don't make electronics. I steal money. I'm a thief. How do you live with yourself? That is up to you, ma'am. All right? No, it's up don't to you. I'm me. asking you as a human being. How do you live with yourself knowing that you rob and steal from oh, innocent people? Just hung up. <laughs> I love how they always deflect. Like they oh, never... God, yeah. Oh, we ignore you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't do it. No, no, no. I'm not oh, talking about we. I'm oh, talking about we. you. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. Hello? I don't want it. Cancel it. Oh, what are you seeing, ma'am? Huh? Hello? I didn't yeah, who order is this? nothing. Who, I'm talking, who I am talking to? It's Clarice Starling. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, who is this? It's Clarice. Can you please help me with your... Uh, hello? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can you please help me with your with the transaction ID, the order ID? It's a 115 867 R three uh, I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's hard to see without my glasses on. You just hung up. Thanks for calling. My name is Ryan. How may I help you? Oh, I didn't order nothing. Cancel it. Definitely, I can help in that case. Please help me with the order number or your email ID. My email is Clarice. Mm -hmm. 49 at yahoo.com All right, can you please help me in the amount, how much it says in total? Uh, uh, I suppose the email, do you want me to get the email back? I don't remember what it said, I just saw it and then I had to get my yes, Uber I... driver order from the door. Oh, okay, so can you please pull up your email? You want me to go turn my computer on? Yes. Well, either way, I don't, I don't want, I just, I want to cancel everything. Just cancel. In fact, you know what? I want to cancel my Amazon account because I have a credit card bill for eight or $7,000. I got to pay off. I'm ordering too much on there anyway. I believe you have called us earlier, right? Before me, you have called us, right? This is the oh, second you time you are calling today. Well, can I just, I just, I just have one question. 
Yes. When you steal money from innocent people and ruin people's lives, how do you live with yourself? Miss, you have a bad uh, prescription. No, I'm sorry. We don't do that way. You can lie to me. But don't lie to no. yourself. You know you're a criminal who belongs behind the bars, but why don't you talk to Granny? Maybe you don't understand how, how many people's lives you ruined. Do you understand how many people you hurt every day? Thank you for your call. You have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm care. trying to have a conversation with you about being a horrible person. Uh, Just up. talk to me. All right, so that was a lot of fun messing with those couple of scammers. And one thing to note when it comes to here is not only are they really cutthroat how they handle their potential victims on the phone, but also how cutthroat they are against each other. So I'm wondering, how can we use this against them? All right, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos drop and when we go live so you can come in the chat, hang out, give us ideas, and watch the scam unfold in real time. And also, make sure to follow us on Twitch because we do live stream there. And make sure to like this video and share it with your family and friends, those who you think are most vulnerable, as it will help show them exactly some of the steps when it comes to the setup on how these scams actually take place. Hopefully, it will keep their money in their pockets and not going towards scammers. All right, and we'll see you in the next one.